Hello YouTube, Phil here with a life of adventures. I have an experience that I'd like to relay to you. Uh, about a week ago, I went down to take my first lessons hang gliding. And to make a long story short, the struggle to get there uh, was quite different. I ended up spending two hours setting up my camp in the rain and uh, but other than that you know there was a few things telling me that this training might not go the way I thought it was going to go. Uh, the next morning I get up and I start class and went through the ground training and did a little simulator training and then we went out to the field to start actually flying and um, it went differently than I thought it was going to. We were using scooter tow uh, type training and I asked him if I could record it and he didn't really want me to and I said that's fine and to make a long story short um, there were just some difficulties. Um, the training wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Um, it was neither all their fault or all my fault. Uh, it was just one of those things that wasn't a good match. And it partially had to do with uh, the torque on the scooter and um, my weight being low. Um, and, you know, he and I had never worked together before. And so he was trying to adjust his uh, towing capabilities to my weight. And I was confused about the whole thing. And um, <laughs> so I, 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 I ended up on the ground a few times. And, and I ended up leaving the ground when none of us expected me to leave the ground. And so it was just interesting. But it was a very um, productive, uh, even though I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve uh, for my first lesson, um, it ended up being productive in the sense that I learned a lot um, about everything. And so at the end of the lesson, he and I talked, and we really feel it would be better for me to go to a different type of training uh, or somewhere else to train if they've got a, a different type of scooter uh, that has less torque. But uh, anyway, so since the nearest one to me is eight hours away from me and, um, you know, I don't want to do that right now, I think what I'm going to do is, you know, like we talked before, is I'm going on a dual, uh, you know, a parallel type of adventure here in the sense that um, I want to hang glide, but I also want to take up the nomadic lifestyle and tour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate now uh, more on getting everything done I need to start nomadic uh, living, which will be next May. And, uh, you know, at the same time then, I can go to the different training facilities across the country and um, get trained a little bit differently, which I think will be more productive for me. Um, and, you know, when you're going into hang gliding, it's not something you want to take lightly. I mean, it's relatively expensive. You're going to pay two grand to, to get trained, um, you know, to a certain level. Um, and, you know, you're going to have another several thousand dollars into equipment and things like that. And you want to make sure things are right for you and things are going right. So uh, I'm going to put the hang gliding on, on hold for a little bit. Uh, and get back to that uh, after I get on the road and be where I can more easily, you know, concentrate on, on um, hang gliding with a little different twist on how you're twinning. Because, it, you know, there's, there's lots of different methods. You can tandem hang glide, you can, or tandem uh, learn, uh, you can hill learn, you can scooter learn, you can arrow tow, um, you can dune uh, goon to learn. Uh, there's different ways to learn and 
this was just a matter of wrong place, wrong time for me. Okay? So, I, you know, and the center I went to, they train people, um, you know, and they do fine. And it's just, so it's me. So don't let my experience here put you off on going somewhere and hang gliding because it will fit you. You know, you've got to find where you feel good about what you're doing. Um, and knowing that, you know, your life depends on you knowing what you end up doing. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I did have some positives that came out of it. I had made a, um, a composting toilet set up. And I'll show you that in a different video. And that worked extremely well. So I was happy with that. And I've gotten some other things that, you know, I've got set up since, since we talked last time. So I'm going to continue to, you know, work that up and do that and keep you guys posted on, on what we do. So, goodbye for now.